Hello everyone, Retro Seller here. Uh, just a quick update. Um, we're heading to the Peterborough Antique Festival today. Um, leaving in about, I don't know, half an hour. Should get there for about half ten. Um, obviously you can get there earlier, but that's like a £15 entry fee. So try to save a bit of money and get there a bit later. Um, don't normally go to things like this, but because we normally buy at auctions um, and then sell at retail price, but... Good thing about this festival is that um, you get all the dealers from all around Europe turn up, so you get a lot of mixture of antiques there, and you get some re really good deals there. So um, yeah, that's where we're heading today, and hopefully get some good bargains, and we'll show you them later on when we get back. But I'll do uh, some clips around the festival to give you an idea what it's like and how big it is. Well, it's a big festival. Went a couple of years ago, didn't get round in a day, so that's how big it is. So hopefully the weather stays nice and uh, dry for us and uh, we'll see you there. <laughs> right, we're here now and uh, Gonna have a good look around so we get some bargains. Won't see bad of Q getting in. Um, probably about to about 10 15 minutes to get in. Come a different way today, so uh, that was quite handy. Last year or a couple of years ago, we got caught in a queue, so uh, yeah, come a different way and um, nice and early about 11 o'clock. And uh, sun's out, and uh, hopefully, get some good bargains. Right, speak to you soon. Right, we just popped back to the car. Kind of, we had too many bags to carry. Arms are aching, so uh, just popped back to the car. Got a few bits, got a few deals. Got a few people down. Uh, got a couple of board games. Uh, Monopoly, that's from 1950. Uh, all original pieces, cards. Um, Chinese checkers. I'm not too sure on the date on that. Could be 70s, early early 80s. Um, got these three French wine coolers, pots. Um, got a good deal on them as well uh, and Vicky partner she got a little ice bucket for a, for a fiver for herself so uh, we shouldn't dare knock them down on that because <coughs> of fiver so I'll just show you what we got this is what we got then three different sizes uh, French wine coolers um, good condition got a small too small and a large one um, like I say good good weight to that Nice to have in your kitchen or around your house. So we've got three, three of them. This is a smaller one. You can see it's got a, lot, a few marks on it. It's not a crack, it's just a bit glaze damage, but these are really nice. Um, this 1950s Monopoly board. A lot of board games. Um, it's got all the original pieces in, apart from the dice. So uh, the dice is. Uh, Obviously not original, but all the original pieces are in here. And the old wooden blocks for the old hotels. So, yeah, I've got a few bits. I've got Chinese checkers. Sorry about the noise. A bit windy. So, Chinese checkers. All complete. This is quite nice. I'm not too sure on how much this is worth or what day it is, but... That looks all to be there and original. Looks, looks a bit quirky, a bit different. So yeah. Right, time to get back in there and uh, get some more bargains. This is the 
back then. Yeah. Halfway round already. Some bargain. <coughs> Okay, just got back from the festival, had a good day, didn't spend too much money there, um, got a few items, about seven in total, so that was a good day. Um, a lot of people ask me what do I look for when I'm buying an item, normally I have generally have three rules, one, if I like it, and would I have it in my own home, two, if it's the right price, um, obviously, obviously we've got to make a bit of margin on it, and three, if it's different, you know, if I don't see it at an auction, if I haven't seen it at auctions, can, it's quirky, different, that's what I go for. So, yeah, so that's that's what I've done. Gone with my gut, um, always go with your gut sometimes. And uh, if you like it yourself, and would you pay that much money for it? So, yeah, um, let's get down and show you what I bought. Okay, first up, we've got these French wine coolers. Um, I showed you these at the car. Um earlier on in the video got three in total um a bigger one then two medium sized ones um don't be afraid to negotiate originally i was just going to buy these two and i saw this one hiding up in the corner so i said to the bloke can you do a, a deal on all three and i got got these from nearly half price of what he wanted for all of them so um never be frightened to negotiate always worth a haggle so yeah these are french Got to do some research, not too sure of the year. Good bit of weight to them. Um, really nice, good to sit on the table. Store the wine. Um, two smaller ones. This one's a little bit damaged, but you know, you can put flowers in them or uh, anything you wanted, really. Um, utensils. Okay, um, obviously, you saw the Monopoly and the Chinese checkers earlier on in the video. Obviously, when we went back in, we got this Banks in 68. Uh, tape recorder this, this caught my eye it was on the bottom of the bottom of the floor on the dealer's uh, stool um, opened it up fell in love with it straight away that is nice um, lids like clips on and off like that um, some sort of tape recorder got to do some research on this um, obviously you plug your microphone there and you record onto the tapes um, be inter interesting to see what's on these I um, haven't had a chance to play it back yet. It is battery operated at the back, on the back side. Obviously you've got your, your knob switches there for your rewind, fast forward. Obviously you speak into the microphone there and adjust the volume. Uh, went with my gut on this, didn't do no research on the day. 
you know sometimes you can use your phone to nip off that's the uh advantages now with technology you can you can do the research on the go um while you're there but i didn't on this just fell in love with it um got a good deal on it as well knocked it down quite a bit so it'll be interesting to see what i can get for this and what it actually is okay up next is this uh, little tomy uh, money box this caught my eye um i had one when i was a kid um didn't pay a lot for it but i still got it for half the price um good little funnel item like um a little bit of margin in it and uh, battery operated obviously it's missing its cover there but shouldn't affect the value too much um you put your little money on there and he gobbles it up you know if i can't sell it i'll probably keep it myself to remind me of my childhood so yeah nice little funnel like item look out for these um a little bit in them you probably get a little bit better condition than this one but i just loved it so well mixed opinions on this uh, next little lot um three little wooden uh, bottle stops you got a bottle opener a corkscrew bottle opener and a stopper um i really love these uh, my partner not not a fan um uh, let me know what you think um i love them uh, this is the corkscrew one um let's move up and down i just think this look great in like a little bar or in a pub or around the house you know just uh again different never seen this before um some people might have but i haven't um but i love them so yeah um didn't pay too much got a lot off this again negotiated well let me know what you think in the comments below. Right, up next, um, one of Vicky's items she picked up. Um, she paid £5 for it. It's a little uh, nutcracker, squirrel nutcracker. You move the tail up and down and you crack your nuts. Probably keep hold of this uh, until Christmas and try and shift it then. But um, she likes it, but uh, I'm not a fan. Also, uh, from the same people, we got these jelly moulds. Um, didn't pay a lot, aluminium uh, one, I'm pretty sure that is a dog, doesn't look like a dog but that apparently is, and a rabbit, um, didn't pay a lot for these, again hunting around, uh, another stall wanted £8 each for these but we got these for 50p each, so there you go, that's the difference between hunting around, always worth a look round before you purchase stuff just in case you see it again, again not bad condition, a little bit marked, but nice little item to have um, and sought after. Okay, um, picked up the next two items from the same lady. Um, this is a French coffee grinder. It's really nice. Um, you can clamp it onto your, your tabletop and then grind the coffee at the top in there, in the side. Um, quite popular. Didn't pay a lot, so I didn't negotiate on this because it, it was too cheap anyway. Also picked up off from a, this teaspoon. Um, a lot of people are now worried about plastics. Um, so people are going back old ways of making cups of tea and using tea leaves. Quite popular. It's quite a nice little silver plated tea strainer. So again, didn't pay a lot. Um, so yeah, always look out for these items worth picking up. Okay, that's it for the video. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave us a thumbs up. That'd be great. Any questions uh, you want to ask, leave them below in the comments section and I'll answer them as soon as I can. I'll also give a couple of links below to my eBay page and Facebook page. And again, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.